Dave and Glenda, the video we have to show you is pretty incredible. The fire just shooting right out of the street. Take a live look behind me. That's one of the spots where it happened. You can see DTE still has it sealed off as they investigate. The good news is no one was injured. Underground explosions send flames shooting up through the street, blowing off manhole covers and forcing crews to close down the area around Orchestra Hall. The exact cause is under investigation. DTE says a cable failure may be the culprit, which ignited underground gases. It could have been uh, sewer gas, and more than likely that's what it was, but I can't, I can't say for sure at this time. From the outside, there is no visible damage to Orchestra Hall, but inside, we're told the basement may have taken some of the impact of the blasts. The explosion fed back through the conduit inside of the basement of Orchestra Hall. Um, there is some damage to the hall itself. Edison is on the scene assessing um, the situation. Orchestra Hall was set to host the Sphinx 15 Strings competition. It was moved to Ann Arbor because of the explosions. To our surprise, we got here and the streets blocked off and there's an alarm going off. So uh, we just found out from a police officer that we now have to drive to Ann Arbor to, I guess it's Hill Auditorium. And about an hour ago, DTE crews cleared the scene. As far as evacuations, there are none in effect right now, and no power outages have been reported. As I mentioned, though, they are still trying to get to the bottom of this to find out exactly which line uh, had the ignition to ignite this uh, blast. So we'll have to wait and see. Their investigation is ongoing. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News. Tom,